Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me on another episode of Minecraft. Today we're in the command block testing world again, and I have something that is quite useful to map makers. What I'm going to show here isn't exactly uncommon knowledge. What I've done here is probably going to be known by a lot of people, but I still wanted to make my take on it anyway. I have made a command block build that will test when you hit something with a custom arrow or custom bow. And for both cases, you can run commands on the entity you hit if you hit one. I'm going to start with the bottom one because it's much more complicated. The way the bottom one works is it can use any bow and is very, very safe to use. It will almost always function properly. I say almost, because there is a chance that it will mark the wrong arrow. What it does is when the player is holding a custom bow and has a custom score, the score being whenever the player uses a bow, from that player's eye location, it will get the nearest arrow within a very, very, very tiny distance. This distance here is as small as I could go while having the system still be reliable. After it does mark the arrow, it sets the bow score to zero. After I have the marked arrow, any entities nearby the arrow are tagged. The entities will be tagged with this custom tag that I've made called arrow hit. This tag is used to determine possible entities that could get hit. It's getting all entities within a 4 block radius and giving them this tag, based on the arrow's location. If the closest entity to the arrow has been tagged and has a hurt time of 10, we can assume that that is the entity that got hit. This will not always be the case, again going to how this method is slightly unsafe, but most of the time it will be correct. So all of that can be seen in action when I hit something with my custom bow. You can see I got a hit in the chat. If I use a different bow, it won't work. It has to be my custom one. Now this method has a lot of limitations on top of not being safe. The first limitation comes from me being as safe as possible. Since I'm using such a small number, the slightest movement won't mark the arrow. So you can see even though I hit that entity, it didn't do anything in the chat. That is because the arrow was not marked. I have to be remaining completely still for the arrow to get marked. This of course is a huge limitation, but it does serve as a proof of concept. It's not always going to be safe, but that is such a small number, it is almost impossible for it to have a false marking of a different arrow. Because right as the player shoots an arrow, a different arrow would have to be within this distance to be marked. So it's almost certain to be correct, if not certain, but it does have a lot of limitations due to how it is run. There is a second, easier, and more reliable method to doing this, and that is using a custom arrow. This arrow is a custom arrow of bad luck. I chose bad luck specifically because that effect cannot be brewed in survival. So the way this method works is I have a repeating command block that is constantly looking for an entity with a hurt time of 10. This means that the entity was just attacked. I'm also looking to see if the entity has my custom amplifier with my custom effect. For the most part this will never have an issue using this method. And of course you can see, it works just fine. It tells me when I hit something, and if I wanted, I could change the command to run an effect on that zombie. So now you can see, I ran an effect on that zombie, proving you can run a command on the entity you hit. You can also do that for the other method that I use. One limitation for both of these methods is that if the entity is to die on the hit, it actually won't run. But that's about it, so thank you all so much for joining me on this episode in the command block testing world. Hopefully you enjoyed and maybe this was useful to you. I'll put the one command for the better version in the description of this video.
Technically, it requires two commands, one to give the arrow, but the real mechanism is only in one. Anyhow, thank you all so much for joining me, and hopefully you enjoyed. I will hopefully see you in my next one, so, if I will. See you there, I'll be waiting.